The constant nature of light speed has a profound implication for both space and time. Implications that we would know intuitively if we routinely traveled near the speed of light or routinely saw objects that zip by us near the speed of light. But since we don't generally have those experiences, let me show you what you would see if you did encounter an object that was traveling near the speed of light. And let's do a little example. We'll slow it down so you can see it with a taxi cab traveling near the speed of light. And what you would find is that the length of the taxi cab along the direction of motion is compressed. It's shrunken. It's called Lorentz contraction and directly comes from Einstein's mathematics in special relativity, all relying on the speed of light being constant. Now, as it turns out, if you really did encounter a taxi cab going by near the speed of light that your eyes had the ability to see, you wouldn't actually see what I've shown you here. You see something a little bit different because, you see, if you think about it, what you see at a given moment comes from the light entering your eyes at that moment. Now, when you are considering an object, different locations on that object are different distances from your eyes, which means that the light you see at a given moment left the object at different moments. The farther away a point on the object is, the longer the light travel time, so the earlier the light had to leave for you to see it at a given moment. And when you take that mouthful of complexity into account, it has an impact on what you would see. In fact, it would look something like this. So here's a taxi cab rushing by. You would have the compression, the contraction along the direction of motion that I described a moment ago, but you'd also see an interesting kind of twisting of the object coming from the complexity of the light travel time. Now, this is what you would see on the sidewalk. You might think from that picture that a person in the taxi cab themselves would be feeling kind of cramped, claustrophobic, as the taxi cab is kind of crushing in around them. But that's not right. If you jump into the taxi cab, then from your perspective, it's the rest of the world that's rushing by. The taxi cab seems normal, ordinary, but when you look out at the world, all of the strange, wondrous distortions apply to the streets and the buildings, everything around you. So this is the impact of motion on space. We see this kind of dramatic twisting, warping, transformation of the environment all coming from either your motion through it or the motion of an object through the environment that you're observing. A profound impact on space from motion.